Hi, I'm Joel from A Smarter Home Canada. I just got back from a week and a half in Jamaica. Just before I left, I ordered something online that I've been trying to get my hands on for about the last three months. Finally, it came back into stock and I snapped one up. Unfortunately, it arrived the day before my flight took off, so I didn't have time to install it, so I'm gonna be installing it now. That smart home product is the Govi Ceiling Light. I've seen these in action, they look amazing. I couldn't wait to get my hands on one. I think it's gonna look really good in my living room and work well with the other products I have here. This is actually gonna be the room I'm installing it in. It's gonna be in front of my TV, just right up there. Currently, I do have three smart bulbs installed into the light fixture. They work pretty good. I'm just really hoping this blows that out of the water. So I hope you stick around. I'm gonna unbox this, I'm gonna install it, I'm gonna give it some testing, and you can see for yourself if this improves the room. And if this is a product you think you might want, there'll be links down in the description. Also, there's a subscribe button down there as well. Click it, I'd really appreciate it, and I'd like to see you back here next time. Before we get started, I just want to give you a quick update on a product I've reviewed before that didn't work too well. It was the new Chipolo Tracker. I live in a small town. It doesn't work here. But once I got to Toronto, it was tracking the items. I put one in each of my luggage cases. It could tell it was in the airport somewhere. When I got to Jamaica, it could track it at the airport there. Once I was on the resort, it, that wasn't happening anymore. But... It seems to be getting a little bit better with these, so hopefully that Find My Device by Google network is getting a little bit better every day. Now let's get this unboxed. This is the box here. You've got your Govi ceiling light, works with Google Home, works with Alexa. For all you techie people, you have 2400 lumen. 2200K to 6500K, which is your Kelvin scale there, and then approximately 20,000 hours of usage. So probably about eight years with everyday use. So that's one drawback is if a light does blow in this, you've got to replace the whole thing. Nice to know they want you to think it's safe to use. Not much on the back, just a pretty picture there. And this side is going to have all your technical mumbo jumbo. Anything important I'll throw up on the screen there for you to see. empty box and this is everything you've got the light fixture itself starting guide info card about dream view user manual and a quick start guide It is fairly light. Um, screws and everything are inside here. Gonna have to figure out how to get that off. Oh, just twist there. That's your mounting bracket and your connectors for the wires. Next step, let's get this installed. As with any project involving electricity, first thing we're going to do is kill the power. So let's go into the laundry room. The light's going to come on automatically thanks to the CASA Smart Motion Detection light switch, which is quite nice. You can watch a video about it. And then we'll find the right breaker and kill the power. I've 
run into one little problem. The adapter that they have, or the mounting bracket, isn't going to work perfectly with my system here. I, I can just tell um, where they want me to screw this in. I have no place to screw it, but I should be able to adapt it up to the existing plate that's up there. So while I do that, how about you learn a little bit about the Canadian connection to the light bulb? Canada's contribution to the invention of the light bulb is often overshadowed by Edison's fame, but it's an intriguing chapter in the history of innovation. Henry Woodward and Matthew Evans, two Canadian inventors, devised a unique light bulb in 1874. Their design featured carbon rods mounted within a glass cylinder filled with nitrogen, which was quite advanced for its time. This clever approach aimed to prevent the carbon rods from burning up too quickly, addressing a major issue faced by early electric lights. However, lacking the resources to commercialize their invention, Woodward and Evans sold their patent to Thomas Edison. Edison then refined their design, introducing improvements like the more durable carbon filament and a better vacuum seal. These enhancements made electric light bulbs practical for everyday use and paved the way for the widespread adoption of electric lighting. While Edison's name became synonymous with the light bulb, Woodward and Evans' contribution is a testament to the collaborative nature of technological progress. It serves as a reminder that innovation is often a collective effort, with many minds and hands contributing to the final breakthrough. The lights now installed, and I've got to admit, it was not as easy as I thought it would be. Part of the problem was that plastic ring connection ring you have to connect it with. One, I found the wires kept getting stuck as I was trying to snap it into place. The whole housing feels a little cheap and it was really hard just to get that final click in. One side would go and then the other one wouldn't and it, it just took me a few minutes to actually get it up and twist it into place. Besides that, the wire connections were very simple to do. Pretty basic, but Overall, I think the product could have been built a little bit better. A couple quick first impressions. The light looks absolutely fantastic. I am really impressed with the way it looks. It's a nice, clean finish. I, If you didn't know there was a second ring of LED lights up there, you, you can't see it. It's hidden away so well. Second, it's bright. It is really, really bright. Almost too bright. I, at 100%, it is blinding, but in certain cases, it's also too dim. I'll get to that in a little bit, but right now, let's get to the part you guys want to see. I'm going to put this through a bunch of patterns, test it out, see what it does, and you guys can just sit back and enjoy the next 30-40 seconds, and I'll be back with some final thoughts. Pretty nice, right? 
I think it looks fantastic. It operates very well. The light is nice and bright. The effects are super clean, crisp, and there's so many of them to go through. You can always find one to set the right mood. So overall, I am happy with this product. However, there are a few things I'm not that thrilled with it. One, it feels kind of cheap. I think it could be a little better built. A little sturdier would be nice. The second problem I have, and this is the big one, there's no balance between the lights. You either have the main LEDs, which are super bright, they don't really dim down as much as they should in my opinion. This could be a software issue, I don't know. And then, But when you switch to the effects mode, it really dims down. So the effects modes is, yeah, it's mostly just for ambient lighting, but it would be nice to have both of them running at the same time. You can't have the main light on and then like another ring with the top LEDs. I don't know why. This is what it says in the app when you go to either one of the pages, it says the other one can't be running. I'm not a technician, I don't know why. Maybe some other products or a next version will be able to combine the two. The third problem I have, and it's not really a big deal, it's something I just probably will have to get used to. I think the ceiling light could have been bigger. It seems relatively small as compared to the one it replaced. Now I know it's compact design, everything like that, but this, they could have made the circle bigger. It would have been probably looked a lot better, at least in my opinion. Besides those minor issues, I'm really happy with this product. I think it works really well. The light is brighter than I thought it would be, which is pretty good, I guess. The effects really bring the room together, so if you're watching a movie, it just adds that extra depth, and with it being able to tie in with Dreamview, that's a nice perk as well. Plus, it does function a lot better than just your basic smart lights. I'm not going to rush out and replace every light in my house with these, and probably once something better comes along, I'm going to end up replacing this. Sometimes that's just the way it goes when you've got a smart home. And that brings us to the end here where, as always, I ask you to give us a like, give us a subscribe, click the beaver when he shows up during the song. If you didn't like the video, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home trying to make it a little bit smarter and having some fun while doing it. Thanks for watching. In a pub by the river, we gather for cheer. With the Dolby Smart Light, our stories are clear. Colors are dancing like sprites in the night. RBG plus, oh, what a sight. Raise up your glasses to technicolor dreams The pops glowing brightly like emerald streams The H60A1 casting magic anew Under its rainbow our friendships grew Oh the Govi light shines bright tonight Shifting hues in merry flight Effects so grand and colors so bold In this pub we share tales of old